Good morning from Hunza. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning. I'm gonna try to give you some coffee, some breakfast, and I'm not sure what's on the itinerary today, but we'll find out. Finally got a full, good night's sleep last night. Feeling a lot better. And uh, yeah, see what's going on today. Got a good spread here. I'm not sure what this is, but it's very tasty, I know that. Got pre-made butter jam and honey. Chicken karahi. I love chicken karahi. Chicken karahi for breakfast, can you believe it? Am I in heaven or am I in Hunza? I need another piece of chicken here. Yeah. Okay, what's on this next one? Come with me, let's find out together. China. Looks like some chickpea thing. I'm gonna pass. Not sure what that is, but I'll give it a shot. Why not? It's called Iowa. Set my food down, come back for coffee. This seems like a good table to sit at. What do you think? So, whatever this is, is really, really good. The high walk. I'll have to find out what's in it, but it is excellent. Mm. That's awesome. So, I was talking to uh, some of the shop owners yesterday in the bazaar, and they were saying that Hunter has a 0% crime rate, something crazy like that. Amazing. You know, that's a, it's a city that values uh, community. High trust societies, high communities, just um, everyone is everybody's brother and sister. Love it. Love it. It's pretty special. I believe that was uh, in Austin, Texas, or uh, making Georgia, but who knows? A lot of these things are the population size of the cities as well, you know. I'm not sure the population size of Hunza is, but it's still smaller and generally you'll find lower crime rates in a small city. But felt pretty safe out there. My mom and I were walking up there in the bazaar. We felt pretty safe. People were friendly. We wanted to know again where we're from, what our names are, and uh, know more about us. So Love you here. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get a little workout in this morning. And uh I've got the stairmaster. Stairmaster and Hunza. Let's see how this goes. Yep. This is gonna work. Weather feels amazing. Ooh, kitty. 
The weather is amazing. I mean, it just feels so good. This is not how it's gonna feel in Lahore or Texas when I go back. So, I'm gonna try and enjoy it. Holy crap. <laughs> The altitude that I'm at right now, I think it's like 9,000 feet or something, plus these steps. <laughs> I'm not even done. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh. Almost there. <laughs> more of those, I'll be in good shape. I'm gonna do some deadlifts with this rock. A little heavier, but heavy squats. Gas motor. this out. Apricot tree. I want to grab one. I don't want to fall down. I'm going to find one close enough. Yeah. These branches were a wee bit closer. Yeah, too risky for me, fam. I don't know why they're not like blooming right here where I can grab, but. So we're headed to the Baltic Fort. Got some shots along the way as we go. A lot of cow heads as well. Try to get some pictures with those. There's a there was a uh, yeah, with uh, uh, canvas to your brandy and a brownie might be Amsterdam around here. A lot of uh, taxidermy, that's what trying, the word I was trying to think of. Yaks, cows. Pretty cool. So beautiful looking, so unusual. They're covered in clouds. I think Altit Fort, that's what I was trying to say, not Baltit. I thought it was Baltit, but it's Altit. So we're getting closer to it.
deck. I see because of aggressive can't they be. They're everywhere. But they love that fruit. They're eating the fruit. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you still had a good experience. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Experience. Yeah, we had a nice experience there. And you were an English major. Yeah, I, I, I did English. Yeah. Baccalaureate, baccalaureate English. Oh, Dr. Dr. Fart from Masaita. all things, yeah, yeah, he is the best social person. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's doing a lot for the community. Sometimes arrange uh, uh, English classes for the kids. Oh, wow. And they are able to speak, write, and so many things. Uh -huh. Yeah, since I was inspired, you know, and at FC we have work and study program. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, I was inspired from that program. And then I started working here on my summer holidays Fantastic. to assist my, you know, financial assist my studies. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, I work here for like six to seven years wow. uh, so I mean you know everything about the yeah 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 I work here as a tour guide as well uh -huh, uh -huh. so yeah I, I was here for my annual news okay. uh, from my company you said you're going tomorrow yeah yeah to yeah I have my I have my flight tomorrow so I'm leaving to Gilgit uh, tonight I mean oh, okay but, well we were very lucky that we connected yeah yeah okay yeah yeah you grow up in this area? Yeah, this is my village. This is your yeah, village. Yeah, I was born and raised in this village. Wow, wow. Do you know the altitude? Uh, at this point, uh, at altitude, we are 7,600 feet. That's an approximate about 300 meters. Okay, so but good. yeah, we have from zero on this side. Um, from zero, we are 100, uh, 300 meters. Same royal same family. family. This was their winter palace, and okay. that was their summer palace. Okay. So they used to go there in summers, and for winters they, they, they used here. to come here. And since this village Altit was the cultural capital from just day before 1974, so if they had to celebrate any cultural festival, they used to come here. Okay. So the whole fort was renovated from 2006 to 9 by the funding of Aga Khan Culture Service Pakistan and by the funding of government of Norway. Oh, that was a great, uh, generous gift. Inside the fort, we have very short door. Please watch your hands. We place it on this side. This is the main entrance. And here, this fort also got the one from the store for the conservation of the inside. So, this is the important distinction. start from this room so I uh, said so this fort is out of fort is 1100 years old which is said to be the oldest monument of Delhi Pakistan so you might have, yeah 1100 years old and you might have heard about Shigar Valley Shigar is a Sumar Valley in Pakistan yes. and we had a princess from there her name was Sheikh Khatun so when she married the king of Sunza 1100 years back her father who was a king of Shigar had built the whole fort for her daughter as a wedding gift as a dowry mm -hmm. so initially there were Buddhists and then Hindus and then Muslims so the whole fort was built by Buddhists initially and you can see they built the, this fort on the top for two reasons one is that no one can attack from this side because we have a trench ahead we have a river so to make the attackers difficult to attack from this side they built this fort on the top and the second reason was that from the rooftop I will show you we have a village down there where the followers of King and Queen used to live so to oversee them and to monitor them they built this fort on the top and inside the fort you will see they did not use any kind of metal roads or cemented blocks instead of them they used only three things wood, stone and the mud so because of this wooden structure the minimum mud resistance of this fort is 8.5 meters scale and inside the fort you will see we have very short doors for three reasons one is there and they have the fort on the comes here for the first time to do the bow down his head so it means that we are giving respect to the king while entering the fort and the second reason was that we had very harsh winters it was raining and snow frequently so to maintain room temperature they had very low doors like this 
and the third reason was for defense purposes so if attackers attack it will be easy for the rear guards to drop down their heads mm -hmm. so for defense purposes they had wear loaders and before 2002 this sport used to be the property of the royal family of Funza, but in 2002 they donated this to Aga Khan Kajar Swiss Pakistan AKBN now this sport is property of Aga Khan Kajar Swiss Pakistan and the whole fort was renovated from 2006 to 9 by the funding of government of Norway and by the funding of Aga Khan Kajar Swiss Pakistan and here this room was the guard room plus reception the royal army could stand here to watch attackers from this side and if they had any guests in the royal family they used to welcome them in this room so this this was a guard room plus reception. Uh, it's a wine cellar where they used to store wine for winter, especially for their king. Since people had very harsh winter, so to keep their bodies warm, they could drink wine. This is where they used to store. They had more cellars like this, but this is one that we have right now. Okay, so this lake wood is 1100 years old. This is the wood of juniper tree, and this is the new one that we have placed here after the renovation. This is the wood of poplar tree. Wow. And here we have a standing grave. So we would take person and learn a life. So initially in those days it was a tradition that the kingship was given, always given to the elder brother. But once younger brother said that it should be given to me, so they had fight for kingship. So the elder brother who was supposed to be the king of Funza had buried his younger brother alive in this grave. So during the renovation of the fort from 2006 to 9, the whole fort was renovated. So at that time they scanned it and they found some bones still inside this grave. And the person who is buried in this grave, his name is Jamal and this is 400 years old. And their small room is a prison, dungeon, jail, where they used to lock the prisoners of the village. Is man coming? Uh, yeah, she'll be coming. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the peacocks that are carved on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shows fertility. Okay. This was the Royal Kitchen Pass Conference Hall. This is where they ate <coughs> food. It's a fireplace and there is a small window for ventilation. So <coughs> it comes in from this window and will take up smoke from here. So it, it was a cross ventilation. At that time, people did not have any source of electricity. So they had to rely only on the natural light. That comes from a skylight like this. And for night, they used to burn traditional oil lamps here in these inbuilt spaces. Mm -hmm. And if you can see, there are five wooden frames. This is Tibetan architecture. So when there is an earthquake, these wooden frames support each other. So because of this structure, the minimum earthquake resistance of this fort is 8.5 fractal scale. Mm -hmm. So even in our houses, in our traditional houses, we have this ar architecture followed. We have skylight in the middle of the roof, mm -hmm. and we have these wooden frames as well. It's a small storage where they used to store dry fruits and dry vegetables for winters. And I told you that initially there were Buddhists and then Hindus and then Muslims. This is Hindu's Shivalinga, Shivaling. Mm -hmm. They used to pour milk on this for their worship. And we have some cooking pots. Basically, this is metamorphic rock. They have the car when they made a cooking pot. Mm -hmm. So people did not have steel or glass. So this is where they used to cook uh, food. It's a small wooden box in, in, in one chamber. They used to store wheat. And in the next chamber, they used to store flour for winters. Mm -hmm. And the, again, we have the sign of swastika here. Mm -hmm. The sign of swastika mm -hmm. here, which shows Buddhist and it, it, Hindus in the place in this region as well. And we have some tools here, and this is a measuring instrument barter system. So in those days, people did not have even money to trade, trade things. So what they could do, if I give you sugar in, the, sugar in this, you will have to give me why, uh, rice or you know wheat. So give and take barter system. Right. It's a measuring instrument. And we have all these pillars and these carvings are 1100 years old. And once in a week or once in a month, they could use this room as a conference hall to solve the issues of the villagers. Mm -hmm. So if there were any issues in the village, the elders and the ministers of the village could gather here to find uh, solutions for such problems. So this was a kitchen plus conference hall. One more thing you will observe in the fort. Inside the fort, we have lay prints, we have puzzles. So if a takers are take, they got lost. Like where are we going? Right. So to make the takers can feel they had lay prints for defense purposes. Mm. So don't lose me. Yeah. <laughs> That's why all the people were kind of to work around this, sir. Even now, see, inside the room, we did not have any electricity, so they had only this much light. This was a, this much light, and for night, they used to burn traditional oil. Wow. No, it's just built of mud. And yeah, wood stone. How does that not cut so an earthquake? 
Yeah, it's because for reason. Yeah, it's because for reason. Yeah, you know, there is a wood after I mean, one stone. Yeah, one stone, one wood, one stone, one wood. And here upstairs, we have a tower. Mm -hmm. So it's you know. It's, but what yeah. they take into account is it'll shake, but it won't shake down. Right. I guess. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, you want a little give. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is that amazing. Straight yeah. to the river. Yeah, to the river side. I'll show you the river from the balcony outside. And it's a storage. And this is very interesting. This is sun dyed walk walk. So it works with the moment of sunlight. So when we have a sunny day, sunlight comes from scanner and it moves back in the room. So with the moment of this sunlight, we will hear shadows moving like this. This is walk walk. So when it comes here, the average say we'll go for breakfast. When it comes here, the average say we'll go for lunch. And when it comes here, the average say we'll go for work. So this is how we used to calculate their time. This was a walk walk sun dyed. Amazing. Yeah. And we have this picture of all the fort taken before renovation, after renovation, and likewise before renovation, after renovation. So you can see some changes will be made. It was in a bad condition before 2006, yeah. but now it's in a good condition. So when you go towards the Pakistan China border, so there's a palace, big palace, right uh, behind the Darbar Hotel. Darbar Hotel? Darbar Hotel. Oh, the Darbar Hotel, we saw it. Yeah, yeah. So right behind that, we have a palace. There you go. All these trees, red, I mean white, pink, purple. You can really? even smell fragrance in the air. Mm. Oh, That's how the, wonderful. In April, yeah. April and October are the most beautiful season of the year. To be rebuild the enemies, take us nicely, especially those people who, uh, you know, uh, who could go against pink, just to get executed from this point. And the height from the river to this point is 300 meters. You know, survive in the history. And that's the ibex. You can see on the tower, there's the statue of ibex. Yeah. An ibex or a marker? Do you see No, no. Uh, marker has been four like this. Yeah, like this. Like So what you saw, this drop here, is the execution point. They didn't decapitate, they didn't kill people, they just pushed them off the cliff. No survivors yet. 300 meters. for the royal guards that they were able to jump from that rock to that rock and not die and come back to be the royal guard. Otherwise, bye bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Next to our local house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, best to make our key. Chacha go Canada, my Canada, go occupy here. Yeah. Concert or go go um best to make chacha. Chacha, yes. Go go occupy. Cousin, first cousin, first cousin, first cousin. Too late, my. Don't have socks on, like y'all do. You see, you see that one. Beautiful. I'm going to take a picture. Are those plums? Yes. Those are plums. 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 Yes. This is the secret of the long life of Rapunzel. Is yep. the, is the, uh, the ap apricots. Yeah. Mmm. 
अभी एप्पल का सीजन अभी शुरू नहीं गया अगस्त so the apples are are not in season right now mm. they'll come in late in august they're green right now i've seen them mm -hmm. do you dry yeah. them yourselves yeah. yes got got them got from garden is cost like yes yeah the organic wow organic and walnut and there's the almond so apricot kernels oh, these are the apricot kernels right apricot kernels yeah this is really good for longevity Mm. Cholesterol. Mm -hmm. It decreases cholesterol. Mm -hmm. At least cholesterol. Decreases cholesterol. Mm -hmm. So all this is product of hunza. Bitter apricot kernels. Oh, hunza. hunza. Very good for your health. Mm. And you know what? Shelling walnuts is a labor of love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm with it. Wow. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Mm. So I would like to know what their typical diet is in terms of meals. I wonder. So when I stay, we have chai, tea, syrup chai. Ah, tea. Us ke saath apna local jo hai piti kehte hai. Piti. Ah. Bread. 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 Uh, bread. bread. Local bread. Chai or, or bread. Bread. Uh, bread. Don't we use uh, milk? No milk. No, no, no milk. No milk. No milk. No but yogurt. our uh, children, uh, sometimes they use uh, mm -hmm. milk mm -hmm. and the eggs. Mm -hmm. They can up, they can um, hunza kanashta, chai or bread. bread. Chai or bread. Yeah. Sometimes eggs. Kabi kabi. Kabi kabi. Kabi kabi. Kabi kabi. kabi, kabi. Or this scale of uh, lunch ke liye? Lunch ke liye vegetables. Sabzi? Uh, sabzi, vegetables, sabzi. Or, uh, what kind of vegetables? Under this debat, uh, chicken, mm -hmm. chicken, mutton, mm -hmm. uh, beef. Kis kisam ka, uh, ka, ki sabzi? Kis kisam ka sabzi? Sabzi, uh, mix, mix sabzi. Mm -hmm. Saab. Uh, Apre, uh, khet me bhi ham ugaate hai. Mm -hmm. uh, Mix. Huh? I keep on thinking this is my last one because they're so good. Mm. So he, he was saying chai, bread. Chai, uh, pretty much just tea and bread for breakfast. He says sometimes, sometimes eggs, eggs, cubby cubby, very seldom, and it's very sometimes, you know. And then uh, for lunch, he was saying vegetables. Mixed. And then at uh, for special, occasions, special, chicken special occasions, they'll have um, mm. chicken and. Mm -hmm. And beef, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is food. This is what we call fiti. So we do our breakfast with our this traditional bread. Yes. We were asking your father about what was breakfast. He said tea and tea and bread. Yeah, yeah, tea and this is local bread. Right. This lunch, we said. You are so kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is chapshiro. And chapshiroya. Uh, this is, this is yak meat. Yak meat. And we have the sprinkles with this is apric apricot oil. Oh, lovely. That's apricot oil. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is wow. traditional pancakes. Have we? Honey. Wow. Is honey? No, no. Uh, it's just pancakes. Pan it's like a traditional pancake. We call it ghrelin. Okay. Chana dasu? This is Bruce Rapik. So it's like cheese. Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Is it? 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 Is Come your friends can Fine, don't do a thing else. Oh my This is amazing. Yeah, this is pancake. This is again cake, but it's not our traditional. This is amazing. Taste it. It's like apricot. Yeah, it's apricot oil, but this is flour. Mmm. Yeah, you can try that. 
Can try this as one as well. This is no, Mr. Pig. This is all in apricot and walnut oil that they sprinkled. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so this much. Is now, what is in here? This is like the Mongolian bowls. Is yeah. that meat in it? This, no, no, no. It's just like a paratha, traditional paratha. Mm -hmm. I think I like this uh, pancake with the yeah, pepper. Pepper. Yeah, yeah, so we have more here. Check this, man. Yeah, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try the um, yak meat. Oh, no, yeah. This is yak. This is chap shiro. So this cheese is good. Yeah, what this is, is traditional. You see the, the onions Onion and, and the also they have this apricot oil and this is chapati. Oh, is, this, is this yak cheese or goat? No, 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 no. It's a goat. Goat. Oh, it's very good. Like it's, oh, she okay. got the excellence what's award. That? And what's that one? I have to read some of these. Are in Aga Khan. John, she's showing us something. That one up here with the picture on it. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's the captain. I thought that was the captain. Yeah. And Ari Shirazi from the Cultural Forum, Aga Khan. Excellent. Is that Aga Khan education? Yeah, no. Different doctors and them. What is the doctors and them? Sorry. I'm going to be the best team of war. Look at that. I'm going to be the best Oh, yes, that is brother, so yeah, you know, oh, he's from oh, yeah. Bahrain University. Oh, uh, oh, 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 bar, oh bar, yeah, 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 yeah that's great. Nice. So in the winter time, I guess people keep warm in, uh, keep, yeah. keep warm in here. Beautiful. Thank you. It's just great. I mean, this has been such wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. And so you you have to, we go to Gilgit tonight? Yeah, I'll go tonight. Okay, okay so yeah, what, what, my what, in the morning. We'll, 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 uh, We'll say our goodbyes oh, and let you pack and get ready to go. Okay. This has been an amazing experience. Thank you so much. The fort tour and um, the, the, the the meal afterwards, the, the brunch afterwards. Beautiful brunch. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Thank you so, so good. much. Thank so you. Good to, meet, to meet your parents. Yeah. Uh, and to hear about your mom's trip to Japan, which is cool. Yeah. And to hear your father as well. Oh, no, no. Sub, sub, these are the apricots. Beautiful grapes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome to our home. Thank you. We are very, very happy. Well, I am very, very happy. Very happy. It's, very happy. Very happy. Yeah. it's the best it's experience we've yeah, had. Yeah. Okay. yeah, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is our traditional set. Yeah. John, it's got to be turned around. Hang on. How do I turn it around? It's looking at me. Uh, in a shop. Can you tell our driver we're in a shop yeah. over there? Uh, yeah. Turn around, yeah. 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 yeah, thank you. They're saying this area when in winter is uh, for ice skating. Ice skating activities happen here. Pretty cool. So our tour guide has a lot of cousins that own the shops around here. A <laughs> cousin here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They own the whole block.